One of our projects is called Human Activity Recognition Using Smartphones. Uh, this, is, this is a very exciting project which is close to my heart. Uh, let me explain you what this problem is. Most of our modern smartphones have these very two interesting sensors called an accelerometer and a gyroscope. An accelerometer measures acceleration on three axes. So the, the accelerometers that we have in most of our smartphones have the three axes accelerometer, accelerometers. And the gyroscope actually measures rotational motion. And what we, what we get, so of course, if you have ever rotated your phone and the phone automatically rotates or whenever you're playing some games, accelerometers and gyroscopes are extensively used in smartphones. But there is another very interesting uh, application of uh, your smartphone accelerometers and gyroscopes that is, Imagine, imagine that on my smartphone, there is an app which is constantly reading my accelerometer and gyroscope values. My accelerometer and gyroscope values. And by looking through these values, if it can predict, if it can predict whether I'm walking, just walking normally, or if I'm walking upstairs, or if I'm walking downstairs, or if I'm just lying down, if I'm just laying down, right? Or if I'm, uh, or if I'm sitting, right? So all these are called human activities. All these are called human activities. Right? Because these are, so this is what I meant by human activity in the name here. So imagine if I can use my smartphone to detect whether I'm walking or lying down or walking downstairs or upstairs or sitting, etc. That will be super useful, right? Imagine this is uh, for those of you who know what a Fitbit is. So this is exactly what of this is at least part of what a Fitbit does. Fitbit is a smartwatch. Uh, it, it's a phenomenal company that measures uh, all of these for you. In addition to this, it also measures your heart rate. The modern Fitbits also measure your heart rate and other things. It's basically a watch, which has again, the sensors like accelerometers, gyroscopes, heart rate sensors, etc. And to read all of this, and that's something that I've been using for a long time, and I love my Fitbit because it lets me know how much workout have I done in a given day? Have I even worked out in a given day? How many calories could I have burned based on how much walking or running or uh, walking upstairs, downstairs I've done? It also tells me how much have I slept in a day? Because if I'm just lying down and if it can, if, if my, if my Fitbit can understand it, right? So this is super useful data for those of us who, who, who want to measure themselves. So this is also in the area of internet of things. So for those of you who know, who don't know what internet of things is, or it's often referred to as IOT, where you basically have a lot of sensors like accelerometers, gyroscopes, uh, temperature sensors, etc., And you gather all that information to make it useful for the end customer. So in this case, you are using accelerometer and gyroscope sensors, which are already inbuilt in your smartphones. You're, so that, that so your smartphone is one of the best IoT devices that you have. That, that that's your walking, talking uh, IoT sensor that, that's on you almost all the time, right? So you can use the IoT sensors like accelerometers and gyroscopes inside your smartphone to understand your activity in a given day. So I, actually, one of the things that you could do uh, or folks who take this project could do is after they learn all of the machine learning behind it, they could write a simple Android app. Of course, it's not part of this course because uh, we, we don't teach how to write an Android app as part of this as part of this case study. But it's something that you could do immediately after you after you learn how to see because getting accelerometer and gyroscope data out of your smartphone is very, very simple. It will be like 20 or 30 lines of Java code if you're, if you're doing it in uh, if you're doing it on Android phones, and it might be like 20 or 30 lines of code um, if you're doing it in, even in, even in, uh, even on iPhones. So it will be very little code, but the important part of determining what activity you're doing is the machine learning, right? So our machine learning algorithm, in a nutshell, takes your accelerometer readings and gyroscope readings, quantifies the data, and it outputs whether what type of activity you're doing, whether you're walking upstairs, or if you're just uh, if you if you're walking downstairs or just sitting etc right so these are the types of activities that it will recognize and the amount of data that we have is 76 mb don't think that's small that's a lot of data because we have 10k plus samples or 10000 plus samples 
of, of readings from accelerometer and gyroscopes, which we will use to understand whether somebody is walking upstairs, downstairs, sitting, lying down, etc. So we, we have a decent sized data set, uh, which, which we can leverage to build. So don't, always, please don't worry about the size of the data set. The problem is important. The, prob the actual real world problem that you're solving is, interest is important. So for those of you who are from electronics background or electrical engineering background, who already are interested in IoT, uh, this, this is a very interesting project at the intersection of IoT and artificial intelligence. So this is a very, very exciting project in the intersection of IoT and AI. So hope to see you soon.